specifically. We're going to talk about how cognitive load will lock your body when you're lying, how it will make your body fail you in a similar way when you're communicating at work, and how to use your cognitive load to unleash your natural communication powers. But first, I would like you to imagine something. Can you do that for me? Let's imagine that you were on a night out, on a crazy night out, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of party people, yeah, I, I see you going on. Okay, on a crazy, let's say it was a bachelor or bachelorette party because we are doing this on the extreme side, right? It's extreme, TEDx. So, um, you had a few drinks, you did a few things that you would rather forget, sound familiar? I'm watching you. So you're home now, and you have to talk with your partner, your wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, right? You have two options, either tell the truth or lie about it. And we're going to examine exactly what happens in our brain in each occasion, right? So let's go to the difficult scenario, which is easy for your brain, telling the truth. If I want to tell the truth, everything is very simple, right? I want to communicate the truth and my memories, my body language, my verbal communication, all is a, light, is a relatively light and consistent load. It's very easy to communicate that. And if I want to send my idea, this is my idea, my message, it's fairly easy to transmit. Who can catch a ball? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. As simple as that, okay, straightforward, it goes as a whole. But if I'm lying, if I decide to lie, oh man, I still want to activate the true story in my head, right? I don't want to contradict that. I don't want to contradict that. I want to construct a new story, the fiction, the lie. I want to memorize what I'm talking about, that, the lie. I want to memorize my lies because I want to be able to retrieve that in future conversation. I'm still watching you, right? I want to control my body language to appear truthful. And I want to control my verbal communication, the words coming out of my mouth, right? And we know from research that when we communicate under uh, this cognitive load, then we get awkward, we get stiff, we get clumsy. Our bodies could not handle all this load. Could not, these parameters are all too many to juggle with. And when we try to communicate my message, my idea, it's still clumsy, right? It's messy. It's different. It's unnatural. 